Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amit. Today we are going to learn how to concatenate a string value or values with integer value or values in SQL Server. So there are multiple ways to do that. We can use either plus sign to uh, concatenate the values and uh, that can be used in the new and old versions and now we have a concat function in SQL Server 2012 and the SQL Server 2014 as well. So we can use that uh, to concatenate the values. Let's jump into the demo and take a look. Now what I have uh, I'm going to show you from the basic uh, what does that mean when we need to concatenate the string with integers. So consider I have street address uh, just uh, as a string and now I want to concatenate uh, with zip code that uh, column or the value is the integer. So if I have 28215 if I want to concatenate, what happened? It is saying uh, conversion failed uh, converting the worker value street address to data type integer. So it cannot uh, co convert it because one is a string and other one is a uh, uh, integer. So what we have to do, the plus sign for concatenation works uh, on the strings. So we have to convert our integer value to the string. How we can do, do it? We can use the cast function and we have value in the cast and then we say as and then we have to provide the required or the data type to which we want to convert. So I want to convert this value to varchar 10. So the cast took care of this and now the values are both are in string. This one is string. This is also in string as we casted and now the outcome is um, the concatenation of uh, both strings. So that's how we can do it. One more thing I want to show you, you can use another function that is uh, convert. We can call, use that one to convert the data type as well. So it is asking the con target data type first. So we have 10 and then uh, we don't have to write word as but uh, we have to provide the value. So if you have column, you will just provide the column. I'm uh, using uh, one value here. So I provided that one. So you can use either cast or convert function uh, to convert your numeric values uh, to the uh, required data type. And especially here we are converting to the string. Uh, so we can concatenate uh, them using plus sign. Now let's go and uh, take a look on, on one more thing. Uh, in uh, SQL Server 2014 and uh, later version SQL Server 20, uh, sorry, uh, 2012 as well, what we have, uh, we have a function called concat. In that function, uh, if I have this value, let me copy this one, and then I will add or concatenate the number to the string what happened. So let's do some experiments. So if I run this statement, uh, and I see that uh, I did not uh, ha have to or has to convert uh, this number to the string. So concatenate nation, concat function uh, took care uh, automatically. So that's good thing. So we don't have to convert the numbers uh, to the string in concat function it will take care of automatically that will decrease our work. And the next part uh, let me see if that works with the uh, numerics sorry decimals and the numerics as well so i put uh, some uh, place values i put the dot and then i have 0 .90, 0 0.90 and uh, it did concatenate as well let me put uh, money here so see what it does with the money so if i have money so what is happening it uh, converted the number to the string and also eliminate the dollar sign so there are uh, things that we can do by using a concat function now I want to introduce a new scenario to you. Let's say one of the value we are adding uh, to these columns uh, has null value. So if I will say null plus null here and I will have plus null here and now I'm going to add null here. So in concat you do not uh, use the add uh, sign here you just separate them with the comma. So any columns you have to add just uh, separate keep separating them by using the comma and uh, that's how you will write it. So let's uh, run this query and see outcome. So what we see here, uh, we are adding null uh, to the first uh, two expressions or statements uh, and it produces uh, the null output. But third one uh, in the concat, even we added the null to it, it did not add uh, that part uh, 
to the uh, output so it ignored the null so that's really, really great we don't have to worry about that but if you are using old version we have to take care of this part so what we can use we can use is null function so is null function if the first value is null it is going to replace we can replace with anything but here I'm going to replace with the just the blank space or we can use the coalesce function that will do the same thing for us here we are replacing the first null value if there is a null value here we want to replace with the um, blank space coalesce there is a difference between coalesce and is null function but in our scenario right now we are replacing the both values with the blank space so they are fine and we do not course can coalesce can accept more than two columns and uh, then give us the first non null values so i will have a video in which we will um, which uh, i will show you more details about the difference between is null and coalesce uh, and put the uh, link in the description so you can take a look but here uh, our goal is uh, we are replacing null value with the uh, blank space by using is null or by using the coalesce so coalesce is a standard nc uh, function uh, that uh, you can use uh, uh, and I, I recommend using coalesce instead of is null uh, in my code uh, let's run this one now and see now you see that the three of them are returning us the same output but here we have to do a lot more work first of all we have to do conversion second of all uh, we have to take care of the null values because the by default uh, setting on a SQL server let's say if we dbcc user options run this one for this session or any other session on default uh, concat null yields null is uh, is a set so if we can cat null to any of the values it is going to yield a null output so that's the default setting of sql server if we want to change it we can always turn on or turn off for the session and uh, that's how we can take care of it but uh, i don't really want to go in that detail so when we have concat we don't have to worry about setting uh, and uh, sorry concat null the yield null off uh, or on uh, so we we can use the concat uh, if we have uh, the opportunity B but the other way around uh, we want to use the casting and then uh, we have to use a uh, is null or coalesce function to convert uh, convert the null values to the blank space so i have a let me show you i have a script here that uh, i generated for you so it has a city uh, it has name street address zip and city so if i will concatenate here i'm casting the zip to the uh, string or watcher and uh, i'm not taking care of any null values so we have some null values here so the last two will be producing null as we we have seen that if we add the null to the other values it is going to outcome as a null so that's what happened now in the next query i use is null function i have to cast the zip as well because uh, zip is an integer if you see here if you see here this is an integer so i have to cast uh, this one and uh, then uh, also i use uh, is null to convert to the blank and uh, i also added uh, here the space between the columns uh, so i can um, add more space if you want but i added some space so that the outcome uh, comes in a uh, right format so we use this one let's run this one so that came correct the same way you can use a coalesce function and run your statement you have to cast it first then use the coalesce to remove uh, remove uh, the null value or replace null value with the blank space so you can use this one and the last one we have concat and this is great uh, we do not have to convert the zip to from integer to the uh, var char and uh, we n didn't uh, even bother ourselves uh, uh, if there are null values what uh, what to do so uh, we didn't use is null or coalesce uh, in the concat function it is taken care of automatically so uh, nulls are ignored and uh, if uh, there is an integer um, column on that data type is integer or decimal or money and that will be also converted to string and concatenated with the other columns so let's run this one and see 
so this produces the same results what we have seen for the above for the above we have to do a lot of coding and uh, for the last one uh, it reduces uh, the code um, and uh, you know that, that that's great I mean uh, we have a very few lines of code and uh, do the same thing but we were achieving with the, all these uh, extra codes here so thanks very much for watching this video and uh, the the uh, link uh, to the blog uh, will be in the description you can click on that one it will take you to the blog and the, the script will be there so you can try by yourself thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you next video